the origin of branding can be traced all the way to the early days when people habitated in tribes. A tribe will often have its own distinctive totem that they will identify with and worship. These totems also acted as a form of differentiation among various tribes and tribal members. I think what people enjoy about brands is it allows uh, them to access that idea in a way that they understand. And I think today, in today's world, where things are becoming so much more sophisticated and people expect so much, they ex they're almost looking for the brand. They want to know something more about the story behind the product or the service. For me, branding is about uh, creating meanings, right? It's really about this. It's uh, trying to move beyond um, some functional message, uh, some functional uh, promise, uh, but eventually trying to get to the heart of what matters uh, to people and matters in their mind and using the brand as a way to give uh, people some especially deep meaning. Because traditionally you would just sit down and say, uh, who are we, what do we do, how do we sell it, um, how do we want to be perceived, all of those things that are very insular, you'll sit down in the room or you know, with a group of stakeholders or you'll, you know, you'll go through a process and you'll decide without actually talking to your customers at all. If you know your customer well and if you actually um, take your business seriously and um, are willing to find out where your customers are and, and the easiest way for them to engage with your brand, um, a lot of the time it is going to be digital, uh, it's more cost effective, it's more immediate. Um, uh, you can learn a lot more from people. User feedback is fantastic. I really think it needs to be massively embraced because ultimately we create things for people that like our brands and our audience. And if they don't like it, then we're missing the trick. We're not creating it for ourselves, we're creating it for them. So user feedback quite often will drive the product or the service to be better. But the impact that we have in creating a brand in those early stages impacts all forms of communication, through radio, advertising, um, what people say about the brand in five years' time, what people say about the brand in 10 years' time, um, will be a product of the, the service that they offer um, or the product itself, but it's also a product of the positioning that is created at that particular point in time. Everything is basically design. Everything has a design theory to it. You're getting up and deciding how to get to work is, is, a, is, a, is a process of design. Working the, working the thing out. It's um, who you are is about you know, what you present yourself is a design. It's, 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 it's how a business runs is basically a design. I mean, design is a process. And uh, I mean, we are a design. You know, I mean, we're, we're fundamentally, um, you know, our inception and etc. is, is, is th through design. So uh, I, I, there isn't anything else more important than design. The emerging business, the emerging way of brand is technology. How do you have a complete 360 degree, 24 seven relationship? What do they do? I mean, I would say that many of the most important, the popular and also valuable brands nowadays are like Apple in technology, right? Because our lives are defined more and more by technology. Brands need to adapt and listen. But, you know, the marketing and advertising team need to ask Twitter what they think and get feedback from that. That will actually drive the product or service to be better. There's an interesting quote by a guy um, you said that if you uh, create something that uh, gives people autonomy and um, the ability to create and the pieces are there for them to put them together or to, to create something for themselves, that can be really effective and it might work. Uh, and people might talk about it and share it, but if you uh, slot people into a, a scripted experience where they're just expected to, to do one thing or to say one thing or to they don't have room to create or to, to roof off it, they can actually revolt and do some pretty nasty things. The brands that are the most inspiring are the ones which are actually creating and branding verbs. So to search is to Google, to take a photo is to Instagram, to find you on the internet is just to Facebook you. And I think that those things are the most interesting. If you can actually get into the vernacular of culture, uh, then that, then you, you're gonna, your brand means something to people.
The word brand is a much abused word. I mean, a brand is everything. Ultimately, it's about uh, meanings, and uh, people are engaged with brands, uh, obviously to satisfy some more immediate needs, of course, but ultimately all brands, uh, to a larger or lesser extent, are about providing people uh, with uh, meanings, something that uh, may enable people to make sense of their lives. Brands have a means to help you navigate the complexity that is actually the bigger issue. And I think what people enjoy about brands is it allows uh, them to access that idea in a way that they understand. And I think today, in today's world, where things are becoming so much more sophisticated and people expect so much, they ex they're almost looking for the brand. They want to know something more about the story. So we're back to that compelling a choice. Can brands solve problems? Can they help me do better? Can they help me achieve the things that I want to achieve? How do they fit with my goals and, and aspirations? How do they help me do the things that I want to do? And if they tune into that stuff, then they've got a chance of surviving. We, you know, we think we can help you out with branding, but branding is not just the logo on your leatherhead. Brand is the sum total of your experiences with with that brand. So it's the call centre, it's the, the door handles on the stores, it's the you know name tags on the employees, it's the warranty period, it's, it's all of that stuff. It's the power of our beliefs that makes branding so enchanting. And often this means reaching for the unreachable dream.